Lord Jesus, please help us to know ourselves so that the enemy cannot manipulate us and throw us off track. Amen. Jesus began, when souls are protective and have buttons, they can so easily get pushed. There is a problem with moving forward because no matter what situation they find themselves in, Satan will exploit their weaknesses and they will fail. When you prove your love for them, you can then begin to deal with that stronghold. If there is a tumor, surgery must be employed to stop the spread of that disease, or they will be crippled for life. Every one of you have buttons. Some are hot, others are flat. It is your responsibility to know yourself as well as Satan knows you, or you will forever be blocked in every endeavor. There is a stronghold of pride in all of you. Each day is an opportunity to overcome that because I allow you to be tested. If you come to me and ask me to be made holy, I take you seriously. I arrange situations for you that will expose the pride so you can see where you're at. Each morning you come to me to be made anew, and each morning I speak to your soul to prepare you for the day's tests. What is permissible in the world is not permissible in heaven. I am preparing you for heaven. If you wish to heal others, you must first be healed. And no surgery is pleasant at the time. But afterwards, when you are free from pain, you are happy to have had the surgery. The very things you have experienced in your childhood, most others have also experienced. And once you are healed, you can help them as well. Satan knows all the hot points, and sooner or later, in a critical moment, he will use them against you. That is why you must conquer your pride, layer by layer, before I can trust you to work with other souls. The difference between Satan and the doctor is that he comes to wound you, and I, the doctor, come to heal you. One presses on the button to crush you. The other cuts the button to heal you. Do you want to be healed? Well then, every vestige of pride must be conquered, not all at once, but in layers. When you know you are loved and your faults are exposed, it is best to chastise yourself for giving way to pride and once and for all, conquer it. I want each of you to look at each other and see that you are less in their eyes and the eyes of others, so you will have nothing at all to defend, and in everything you fall short. This is easy to do when you know my great love for you, your person is secure in my love. I honor and adore you. So what can man do to you when the Almighty loves and approves of you? You have no need of respect from men, just as I had no need. Therefore, you come to the point where you have nothing to defend, no pretense to be respected because you are already full of me. Anger is vicious, and it drains your spirit and forces you into bitterness and resentment. These are the effects of pride, which must be conquered, or you will forever find yourself tossed about from here to there and never succeed in the dreams and plans of your life. And I, I answered the Lord here, and I said, Oh, Lord, I see now 
why Ezekiel is the perfect husband for me. I have been humiliated over and over again. I didn't want to see my pride or my faults, and I was forced to acknowledge them. The anger caused bitterness, resentment, and a desire to retaliate. I could not handle these things as a mature Christian who acknowledges their weaknesses. I just had to defend myself. But I am so grateful to be learning the right way to respond and not being thrown into a fit of anger. Jesus continued, You, Claire, were a very hard case, especially because of the way it was delivered. But when a soul knows there is an attitude there and they don't want it, I begin to remove it and gently admonish you to be grateful for the correction, no matter how it is delivered. Truly, I love you all, but you know how painful it is when even I must correct you. But you also know how deep my love and commitment is to you and that I do nothing out of spite or anger. I say what I say because I love you, and it may take you a while to get over it, but in the end you are much better off and equipped to handle yourself and not allow Satan to sway you one way or another. Never lose sight of the fact that you are always in formation, being prepared for heaven, and that you are my joy. And that was the end of his message.